Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie, and welcome back to Academia. All the kids are arriving through the front gate, as they're supposed to. And all our hall monitors are making sure that none of them are wearing bandanas on their heads. Good. Good. The next prison... Uh, prison. God, I'm gonna keep doing that. The next... I flop... I flippy flop between, like, back and forth between games when I record them and stuff. Uh, the next school that we're doing is gonna have prison uniforms. We're gonna have orange jumpsuits on all the all the, the, pris the, the prisoners, the kids. The juvenile delinquents, and they will all be, well, not all of them, but there will be a lot of delinquents. We're gonna need a lot of security. We're gonna need a lot of monitoring. It's gonna be a real, a real urban school, all right? I'm just saying. Uh, okay, let's make a bathroom, okay? So we wanna make toilet, male toilet. Uh, I don't think it matters where we put it, so let's put it on. Hmm. See, this is—it's like four. I want the—I want it to be in the middle, but I can't do it in the middle, so it's not going to be even. But whatever. Um, we're just going to go seven by seven in this one, and then uh, we'll go just a tiny bit more. Oh, sorry. We want female toilet here, don't we? Female toilet here, and we'll go just a little bit more on this one. So that ends up being just a little bit bigger for them, right? And then what we're gonna want to do here is let's let's pause it really quick. Well, we don't need to because they got other they got other projects that'll be working on, right? They got a whole bunch of rooms to make. And like, where are they? Where are my workmen like working right now? Oh, they're working here. They were they were doing this. That goon just ran away. Lovely. Uh, we need to get all of this covered so that when the kids walk to school, honestly, you know what? I'm just gonna let's just do this right now. We have enough money. Let's just do this right now. It's uh, reports, right? School bus usage. Let's crank this up. Man, oh man, is this gonna be expensive? Also, because of like how many times I have to click this button, you know, just use your convenience. Can I have an all? Like, just add two little arrows here where it's like take all away, take put, put all filled. I just, it's, it's real easy UI change, I think. Uh, maybe it's harder to code, but like just an extra arrow where it's like remove all, add all would be so helpful on pretty much every menu, not just the buses, but like everywhere. I, I say this in multiple games and I don't design games, so perhaps there's like a reason why you don't do this, but in any single instance, in any single game, regardless of what it is, if there is a chance that the gamer has to multiply click a buttons over and over and over again to do something, I, oh, I can just type it too. Yeah, that's gonna be the argument immediately. Um, let's see how many people comment before they watch the whole video, right? Because I know a lot of you, what you'll do is you'll hear me saying that, you're gonna pause it really quick, you're gonna leave a comment, and then you're gonna keep watching, and like 10 seconds later, your comment is irrelevant. <laughs> Happens constantly. Uh, so we'll see how many people do that. But uh, like, I guess I could type it because it's a PC game. I just feel like in a lot of games, maybe not in this instance, but in a lot of games, if there's a chance that a person can like repetitively click something over and over and over again, give them a button to do all or none. It's, just, it's a real simple thing, you know? So this is gonna cost us $2,700 right now. But like, whatever, we're making a killing. I don't care. Is a lot of the money we make every day? We're making twenty six thousand a day. Eighteen six, fifteen thousand. It's about fifteen thousand of this. A little, little over half of our profit is coming from selling electricity. So we're not super cheesing it, you know? Because we're, I mean, we're making a lot of money, but it's not like we would be negative if we didn't have this, right? It's not that bad. Okay. Now I can't see the zones, so we're gonna have to go by, it's this one right here. We're gonna go to build, walls, and we'll make this interior, I guess. I think it goes to about here. And zones, indeed. Yes, so the zones. This is gonna be a little bit challenging because the female toilet might be smaller than the male toilet unless I want to have these walls staggered. Or I, ha I have to make one of them bigger than the other one because of how this room is laid out, which, like, whatever. I mean, it's me. I don't do things, you know, super consistent all the time anyway. Have you seen Psych Ward? 
Anyway, if you haven't, I'm going to link it down below. Maybe you're coming in here from uh, from a Google search and you found academia and you don't know what else we do. I'll leave the Prison Architect playlists uh, all linked in the pinned comment down below. How's that sound? They'll just I'll just list them all. You know what? It's in the description of the video, too, so you can just look at there. I'll just leave them in the description. I probably won't remember to pin the comment, to be honest. Because I, I record these so... I know, I, like, I record these videos kind of staggered myself, right? So, a lot of times, I don't hear everything that I say uh, after I've said it, like, in the editing process. Because you don't have to edit every video. You know? Like, sometimes you do, I don't need to. Sometimes it's good just the way it is. You, know, you may not agree with me. But... I think my videos sometimes are good enough just the way they are. Yeah, I, I do put attention to every single one, but yeah, it's it's mostly a skim. You know, we skim through it. We don't have to see... Uh, I don't have to hear every single word. So, right here, we want the pinwheel for the females. Only because that's the design I chose before. And uh, we'll also do that with the door the opening as well. And then it's the herringbone floor for the males. So like that. So we're going to make another bathroom. Then they can use these facilities in addition to using these facilities. Then we need to alter the route for some of the janitors so that they stop by these bathrooms. And so let's take a look. Workmen, what are you finally on about? Okay. You're working on this. I mean, I feel like adding a couple more. It's $1,800. bucks. i am going to add just a couple more. Because they're just not really getting on it. It's because some of them are on the patrol route. It slows everything. Yeah, that's why. It slows everything else down. Because since they're on the patrol route. Wow, I missed the doorways on all of these. Yeah. Okay. I figured it out, finally. Crass, let's extend this. We're just marking it to be extended. And then build... We want no objects, utilities, wind. Add six more turbines, please. <laughs> and then uh, worker priority uh, on the turbines, please. <laughs> and then uh, you can actually, actually, let's prioritize this too. You guys, you guys can come back here, all right? You can come back here. It's fine. Here, one more worker. You guys can do this. There you go. Good job, buddy. They'll take, they'll take care of that. You can take care of this. Totally fine. So this is a computer lab. Let's go ahead and mark it as such. Special rooms, computer lab. This is now available. Oh, we need chairs. Right. Well, that's not hard to do. Or it is. Here we go, chairs. Chairs, 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 chairs. And then worker priority go. Done. Chairs are gonna get installed. And then those kids can use that stuff. Huh? Same thing with this. I think we should make this a priority too because the quicker we get the science lab up. Oh, here we go. We can do the trash can here too. Right outside the bathrooms. I like it. Just as everywhere we have bins is like an opportunity for us to like clean up the trash, right? I mean, it's just have a place for the janitors to place the trash so they don't have to have these long extended walk routes between their different destinations. Kids are coming into the cafeteria. So I wanted to move these tables down and kind of resituate these so I could fit an extra row. But I mean, because I could technically fit another row here. It just gets really crowded. And so far we have like, what, four? Maybe five, even. Mm, I think it's four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So four, eight. So it's eight per table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen of these bad boys. That's more than enough. Because we only have two grades going to school at once. So at most, at the biggest, busiest time, we have... 118 students eating lunch. So we can accommodate everybody so far with just these tables. We don't need to expand it yet. All right, good. 
computer lab's done. And this means that our, our teachers can use the computer lab. So now we have multiple people able to use the computer lab at once. Are they on? Wait, this is free time for them, isn't it? Going to comment. Hold on. This is free time for them. They can use the computer lab. Yes, because we can have somebody taking a class, but the kids couldn't use the computer lab during their recess because there's a class in there, right? So by having multiples of these, oh, that's good. Yeah, that makes total sense now. We should have an extra AV room. It's right here. Since we're putting... And then the art room, though. Should we have an extra art room? Where would we, where would we put it? Where would we put the extra art room? We could expand this way and maybe put it on this side, but I'm kind of thinking it can go right here because we have the space for it. It's I don't think it's quite big enough, though. This is uh, 10 by 9, and this space here would be like 9 by 6. I guess it's 6 by 9, but we could always make it bigger, like up this way. So maybe we extend the wall and we put it to be 6 by 12. It's a different way of doing the art room, but I think it still works. Let's give that a shot, actually. Build, walls, exterior, brick. Uh, we're going to come up like this. We'll make it this big. That'll work. Um, yeah, this is an interior wall. Right here it is. This is an interior wall as of here. So we'll do that instead. Uh, and then we'll have a door. Do we need a door here? There's no reason for them to go back here. So I don't think, no. I think we can lock this down with an actual wall. That works for me. And then over here we can have, oh, we have counseling. Yeah, I kind of wanted to have a counselor. Uh, hmm. Where would the counselor go? Maybe have a separate building over here for it. That's, I'm not opposed to that. Uh, how big does the counselor's office need to be? Is it just an office or general school bus? Uh, actually, the school bus area could be bigger as well. Or, or it can't be. Or it can't be. Remove zone, I guess. General bus stop. Hi. Can I not? Why can't I make that? There it goes. No, never mind. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Bus stop right here. Uh, all along this whole area here, I think. Yeah, and then uh, objects. I'm, I'm so I'm so flighty. <laughs> uh, where is the bus? Bus, 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 bus stop. We just go like that, that, that. Uh, why not? Hey, you know what? That's probably the edge of a zone, right? Yeah, it is. So, expand this. It'll be this one and then this one. So we don't need to be here. Mm, well, whatever. We'll expand it one more. Okay. Now we can put in bench here, here, and not there. Whatever. I don't care. Leave it alone. Just leave it. No, I'm not gonna leave it. I, I can't. I can't stand it. I'm not gonna leave it. Uh, we're just gonna do this. There. Now it's in, just like I want. So massive bus stop. Lots of uh, places for them to sit, and we have the one stop here. So kids can sit out here while they're waiting for the bus, and then when the bus does come and stop, uh, they can all just kind of congregate into it. It's nice. But the counselor's office, though. I'm not sure where to place it. It was up here. I think it was... I think it was up here, actually. In my school. If I'm being true to my school, it'd be here. But then where's the extra AV room going? Because we don't actually have places for that right now. Oh, we didn't even do anything for the bathrooms. We should probably take care of that first. Uh, so what we're looking for is toilet. Yep. So, toilet cubicle, female bathrooms. We're gonna go along the back side here. And then we're gonna also flip this. And we're gonna wanna go uh, like this. And then like this. It gives them a lot of facilities. 
sinks all along this side. And then we can also do a hand sanitizer on the wall there. And that's kind of all we needed for this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next for the males, we can have the urinals be all along this wall like this. So those four urinals there. Put the hand sanitizer on the wall. Uh, you know what? No, we should put sinks on the side of the wall here. Yeah, hand sanitizer can go there. This just looks funny having a beige wall here too. I'm going to make this brick anyway. Um, the toilet cubicles can go along the back. Right? Kind of... Excuse me? Oh my god, I'm out of money. How did that happen? Wow. <laughs> I'm spending a lot of money. That's how it happened. Hey, but my spending is justified. All right? It's all for the kids. Look at this. My profit's below 30 grand now. Despicable. But we're not paying for any utilities. We're just profiting off of it. Yeah, you guys are doing a lot of grass. <laughs> doing a lot of grass. That's what I said. That's what I said, guys. They're doing a lot of grass. Um, we're going to have... Let's see. Objects. Uh, no, it's build. Floors. That, there it is. Concrete tiles up to here. Thank you. All right. 794 is actually not enough money. Hold on. Let's cancel all of this. Whoops. We'll actually cancel... We need, what, 2700 for the buses? Yeah. All right. Let's cancel those toilets for the time being. Because I need 2700 for the buses. Uh, what else is happening? Hmm? Day two should see 18 or higher in order to pass. So math is a little bit lacking here for the freshmen. Uh, yeah, they already had math class, too. Might need to work on that. Math is lacking. Art is lacking. Uh, juniors and seniors are all going to be passing. Good, because these are we need them to pass because I don't have the capacity for them not to. The sophomore class is maxed out. They're all passing. So we need to make sure that juniors keep going, seniors keep going, because these guys are going to move on to the next grade, right? That's the thing that a lot of, like, Prison Architect doesn't have that. Right, where after a certain period of time, all of these are going all here, right? And all of, like, everything passes through. Eventually, your new students, quote-unquote, you should probably be able to just import nothing but freshmen. I mean, I think eventually it should be that way. Because all your freshmen pass and max your capacity already, right? So they move to sophomores, sophomores move to juniors, juniors move to seniors, and seniors graduate with a perfect 100% pedigree. And they all go on to college and live happily ever after because your school is awesome. And that's that's how it should be working. Doors, uh, no, walls. Let's make this all in, in doors. Yep. And actually, we have enough money for this now. Now that I've canceled some of this other stuff over here, we actually have some money. So, um... Floors, grass. That looks weird, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pay for it. And then uh, concrete tiles should be all the, through here. All right, 4,900 bucks is what we have left. And they, see, they can use the toilets. There, there's this gaping hole. Like, hey, by the way, the females can see into the male bathrooms, but there's nobody in here because we don't have any toilet cubicles or anything. Let's put a couple in here. As long as we can afford the buses. So toilet cubicles can go like that. That'll at least get them to be able to use it. We can go up that way. And then maybe the urinals can be maybe along this wall. We can put three here. Nope, we, then we can't afford the buses. All right, we can afford the buses now. As long as we can afford buses. Look at them all. Just off they go. They're all walking home. That'll change tomorrow, won't it? Yes, it will. Because tomorrow starts the, the age of the buses. The day when 100% of our students are offered bus services. Our hall monitor stopping all the goons, man. I wish there was a way to, like, I don't know get prestige for every goon you stop. That'd be nice. 
What are we doing for research tomorrow? Probably worker range. It's two hours. And then I think best teachers after that. So when we find more, at least three doctorate teachers and two special teachers will appear. What is a special teacher? Like what is, oh, this, what is this? Marnell Estrada, holy crap. He wants a thousand a day, but he's maxed out on art. Oh, so a special teacher is like, okay. I think I get it. Wow, he's just maxed out. And uh, I think we're gonna hire him tomorrow when we have the money. But like, they're gonna hire Mr. Estrada, the perfect art teacher. He's like, really good, yo, all right? Like, I have all the art. <laughs> I make the best art, okay? Uh, we need 2,700. Double check that figure, actually. 2,700, okay. So we should be dropping down to like less than 200 bucks. Less than 300 bucks. My math skills are on point. Maybe I need a special math teacher. Oh my gosh. Dude, that guy's maxed out. So the special teachers are maxed out. And I think we want all special teachers, man. Why not? Good luck failing, kids. Regardless of how hard you try, you shall not fail. <laughs> um, so the lockers don't go in this hall because it's too wide. We didn't have any... Mm, no, we didn't have any lockers in this hall before uh, in my high school. Lockers started right here. And you would go all the way through. Lockers throughout the, all the classrooms. Lockers throughout all the classrooms. Yeah. And then I think... There were, I mean, there there were some lockers here too. You know, just for aesthetics, I know it doesn't mean anything, but just for like the aesthetics of it, I should put some lockers in here. Cause like students would have lockers for like their pool, like their equipment, like a locker room, if you will. We could extend this and just have a locker room. Even though they're not gonna use it. We'd, we'd say that there's a locker room here. And then we move the field to be like, I don't know, over here. Let's get the planning lines out of here. We are down to 272 bucks until 15 in-game minutes. And then we unleash the theory of, well, I mean, we're gonna finish the toilets and then finish that art room. And I can't decide, I think I will put the counselor's office here. Cause I haven't done that yet. Uh, counselor gets to the bottom of delinquent students issues without yelling at them, requires office zone. If you have lots of delinquents, hire more counselors. I don't have a lot of delinquents. That's the thing. Like, if I go to reports, I just have none. There's not really a need for counselors. Because we're providing such great education. Are they using the lockers? Wait. I saw. I thought I saw one stop at the lock. Yeah. Using locker! Woohoo! They use them! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. How many, uh, how many lockers do we have? They're not just for looks. They actually use them. All right. Hey, I feel good about this now. Awesome. Um, hmm, let's see. What should I put? Oh, the bulletin board was going to go here, right? I thought I had a bulletin board there already. I got rid of it because I was going to put another trash bin, though. I think that's what it was. But we have a trash bin here. I'm gonna go back to putting that bulletin board in there. As if it matters. Bulletin board right there. Oh, that's good. I feel so happy about that. I, th I thought they were gonna be just for looks, but the fact that they're using them makes me like it's worth it. Uh, art room. This will be another art room. So let's find the, uh, where is it? No, classroom, no, admin. It would be an office. I think I'm going to go another AV room instead of the delay. I, I mean, we can go no counselors. And if we have to do counseling, then we can maybe do it over here. You know, separate building that they can walk to for counseling. Sort of like a counselor's trailer kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Head into the trailer for your counseling, boy. <laughs> art, art room. <laughs> art room. <laughs> He's like, you guys are all like, uh, please don't ever do that again. <laughs> Beige room right here. Beige do door, I mean. Uh, no. Beige wall. We're gonna get it. Eventually, English. We're gonna solve it. So this is a wooden floor. 
It's these wood panels. So this will be our art room. In the art room, we require easels, a chalkboard, all that stuff. So let's get that done. Art, chalkboard. Um, we'll put that over here. In the middle is probably okay. Yeah, and then the students are always going over here for the art supplies. So I, I think I want to maybe help them out and have additional... Or have another one. So they can go to another one for art supplies if they want to. And then on this classroom, they'll be both on both sides. And then the easels will just go like this. Um, how many how many should we have? 16 is probably not enough. Let's do 20. I'm actually tempted to just do this. Because it adds the exact same... Yeah. So you'd go down, you'd come in the room and you'd go down the row that you're going to be in, right? And then, uh, probably we add, uh, hand sanitizer just on along that wall there. Yeah. All right, good. So this is another art room. And it is available for students to attend. Feel free to find an easel. And get to doing art things. And then the history. We need an AV room. So this is going to be an AV room too. AV room will be here. We're going to have the blueprints go away there. Uh, see, the door is on the bottom for this one. We'll put the door down here. Uh, build door right there, I guess. Right across the hall from, from that. That's fine. Let's get the... Uh, walls put in. Again, interior walls. We're going beige here. And then inside the class, we are going with... I think we'll have the chairs all face... We'll have the all the stuff facing this direction this time. So, maybe we go like this. That's 25 seats. Yeah, 25 seats. Television will be there, I guess teacher's table can be on this side and then we'll put some cabinets on that side just a couple there I know the room is bigger than we need it to be but that's kind of the same size as the savvy room uh, and then the final thing we'll do here is have the floor be this gray carpet and then I kind of want the carpet to be prioritized but I can't really do that so we'll have the whole room be the priority and that way it gets done as fast as possible so that kids don't start, like, oh, they're just going to do the carpet now. Oh, good. That way they don't step in the dirt, right? Or are they will. Yeah, they will. Oh, well, that's fine. It's a functional room, and that's all that matters right now, I guess. Okay, good. So last thing is the science lab. We just have to mark the room because we haven't done that yet. So science lab. There we go. I bet ya. I'm recording a lot of videos today uh, ahead of time, but I bet ya there's a ton of you that are all like, hey, you didn't you didn't mark the science lab as a science lab. Like, come on. I It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gonna... It's not like I'm never gonna see it, all right? It's just relax. Relax. I'm only betting that it happened. I don't actually know if, that's, if that actually happened for you guys. Uh, why did they cancel the urinals? Oh, I canceled it because... Yeah. Because I was running out of money. We're just gonna put the urinals like... That. And then, same thing. Female bathroom, we need more of them. So go... Um... Here. And then here. And that takes care of all of that. And then we're gonna need a lot more water. Uh, also, I think the maintenance route has to be now including this. So we'll probably want to get some more maintenance staff for that too. But we're going to need a lot more water. So we'll just get a few more motorized pumps. If I can afford it, that's probably good enough. And then the, the wind turbine, if I can afford another one. Let's get another two. Yeah, right there. Okay, good. Don't spend any more money. We need money for the buses tomorrow. But that should take care of our water needs, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, our build is kind of done, man. Multiple AV rooms? Sweet. Now we can have good history lessons, another art room. It's kind of weird having that, but I don't know. 
It adds some character to this place. Why not? And then uh, we kind of don't even need this. We could we could end this right here. Eh, whatever. Maybe we'll do something different up here. I don't know. But these toilets were definitely needed. And then yeah, so the maintenance. Uh, let's take janitor routing. We want to edit a route. Have this come in here. Can I add a route to this? Like, can I? I can't add on to an existing route. I wish you could, but I have to delete the entire route instead of adding a node or not. Nope, it still counts as zero. Yeah. Is there any way to add a node to the existing route? It doesn't look like it. We'll have this janitor come in here then. So at least somebody's, at least somebody's gonna see this stuff. Um, and then this this route is already the same. Yep. Uh, this route doesn't touch the bathrooms at the moment, so we could have this one come into the bathrooms to check on it, and then this one doesn't doesn't touch that bathroom. This one. Uh, I'm trying to find a route that I can. Yeah. Maybe maybe. Uh, maybe we do that. It's probably all right. All right. Just as long as we're getting people to touch that. And then uh, worker priority, worker routes, right? We can take maybe this route here and have this come in here just to check on this stuff, right? And then have this one here maybe come in and check on this stuff. And now we have worker routes that actually touch these buildings, touch these rooms. Janitors also need to come into here too. So let's grab the janitor routing here. We're gonna bring this route all the way into here, just so they're looking at this. And then this node can go into here too, so that they're looking at this too. So now every room has somebody looking at it, right? Every route, every, every room is gonna have somebody looking into this. We're going to move this node over here. I guess that's a good thing. If you put multiple nodes in a room, at least I can bring one of them out of it. See, nobody's going into here to check on this. So I can add this come up here. Just to check on these PCs. Janitor routing, same thing. Have one of these routes like this here. I can bring you into here. And then I need your second. I need another 14, 15. Let's have this actually come like this. There we go. That's what we want. And then this can come down. Perfect. Cool. So having multiple route, like you might say, why why double click here? But that's a, a nifty little plan because you can't add additional nodes later. Clicking and making as many nodes as possible will allow you to modify routes and include new things later because you had redundant nodes. So now you can use those redundant nodes. And then what about monitors? Hall monitors. I think I want you guys monitoring this, the hallways here too, right? So um, we'll have some of you maybe coming down here, just patrolling this, you know, just in case there's any fights, bullying, etc. right? Just patrol the halls, real simple, you know, get you into here, pull you back into this. And then uh, where's, where's the starting point? So back over there, okay. You know, you can just kind of, just check all these places out, then come back through here, you know, and, and you you maybe you come into the bathroom because, you know, maybe some people are gonna, yeah, that's good. And then we'll put one hall monitor on that. Just somebody monitoring the halls. Whoop de do. Maybe have another, maybe one more monitor. Now they they seem safe anyway. I think I need another janitor, and then I also want maybe another worker. Now I'm out of money. Two hundred and twenty-two dollars. Okay. Well, if we're not going to get to 2700 I don't think, in time. So I'm going to have to sell something. I mean, let's just sell this. It's not enough money. Let's sell one of these. Uh, that doesn't give me enough money either. We'll sell both. Mm, these are making me money, though. We should sell things that aren't making me money. How about these? 135 
Uh, that won't be enough, but it's a pretty big... It's a pretty big difference, anyway. Let's sell these. They're easy to replace, and they're not making me money currently. Oh, also, you know what? Maybe we can sell a few of these, because... Um, these are actually costing me money, and they're actually quite expensive, too. We'll sell a couple of these cubicles. And then let's also get worker priority on this stuff. So that, uh, we get as much money for this as possible. But, yeah, don't, don't just... Why would I demolish the things that are... Like, granted, they're worth a lot of money, but they're also making me money. I might as well demolish other things. As long as I get to 2700 Good. 2800 is what I need... For the 2700 is what I need for the buses. Oh boy! Guys, look at this. Educational quality is at an all time high, I gotta say. All right. We need an average of nine points per day in order to pass everything 100%. So that means at the end of day three, we should have 27 as our reigning. And look at this. We're like halfway through the day. And freshmen. Art. We're going to change that with our new teacher tomorrow. <laughs> uh, 25. I think language class is probably upcoming. Juniors. History. Okay. Seniors. Looking good. Yep. Language is at the, at the end of the day for seniors. Indeed it is. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're on track for another uh, full past year. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to hire that new uh, special art teacher will fire the one that's the less competent one. Let go of that one. Get a new art teacher. And then that art teacher can teach as much as possible. And everybody who has that guy... Look at that. This is the thing, though. Right? You make two science labs, they use them. You make two art labs, they use them. Two computer labs, two AV rooms... And then you end up with basically nobody using these classrooms because the special rooms work better. Which again, supports my case that having students move to other classrooms is better than having teachers move to other classrooms. Because then the classroom itself can be equipped for the proper subject that that teacher has. So you don't need to have these seemingly redundant, completely useless classrooms and then they all go to these little labs, right? I can just equip a science class, a math class, a language class. We can have posters along the walls that are famous, you know, Shakespeare quotes or whatever, right? Like, we can have all these things, you know? Our history class can have photos of the Mayflower and shit. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we can do things like that because... The teachers organizing the rooms and the equipment that's in that room is specific to that class. But I suppose for really big schools, having a ton of kids in the halls, it might be maybe less favorable as opposed to having teachers through the halls, right? But I don't know. I still stand by it. Like, I'd rather have kids in the halls and have wider halls than completely unused classrooms like they're just not used but i mean they could be used if i like i can i can i can take more students now right because what this these count as classrooms so one two three four five six seven eight i hire eight more teachers and i take another 160 kids and then these will be used every day in addition to these and they can like all take turns right so all I need is an additional is additional teachers, which means I don't need to fire my uh, I don't need to fire the art teacher. I just need to hire the other one. And that's what we can do. We'll hire a bunch of special teachers. We have six subjects total, eight spare classrooms, kind of, and then uh, we add these. That's four additionals, so that's twelve. Perfect. We have exactly the right amount. Right amount. Yeah. These are 16 classes, plus another 8 is 24. Divides evenly into 6 subjects. It's perfect. I love it. Sign me up. I'm going to pop another cubicle right here, because I can. 
2700 is all I need. Uh, yeah. So we will start the day tomorrow, but I am going to have you guys see what we do tomorrow in the next video. We're left with 177 bucks. Love it. In the next video. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. You know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out any of the other series we have. We have over 1,600 videos on this channel. Uh, over 1,300 of them are gaming related. And then there's ones that are like what I used to do before I did gaming. So yeah. Um, also, uh, thank you so much for the plethora of people who've come in and subbed to me on Twitch with Prime. We've had quite a few people just drop a random Prime sub today while I've been recording. And I don't, I don't even stream today. So... Uh, that's really that's really thoughtful. Thank you very much. If you're one of those people who have Amazon Prime, or your parents have Amazon Prime, or your your cousin or whoever, if you have anybody that you know that has Amazon Prime but they don't use Twitch Prime, you're missing out on a free way to support creators like me. Connect that Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get a free sub to any broadcaster you want every single month, and you can use it on me. And that's just passive free support every month. And it's a really great way to help me keep this full time. Uh, that and turning off your ad blockers. So, uh, so those of you who do that, thank you very much for that. It means a great deal to me. It's one step closer to making this dream come true. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.